Actors regularly come and go from the Hollywood stage, creating a dynamic environment. While some celebrities never leave the spotlight, others retreat from the public for various reasons. We look into the intriguing lives of 20 well-known actors today, some of whom you might never see again. Despite leaving a lasting impression from their appearances in movies and television, these actors have taken different routes that have kept them out of the entertainment business. Amidst controversies, career changes, and personal journeys, these stars have faded from the big screen. Join us as we revisit their stories and examine what led to their departures from Hollywood's demanding spotlight. Paula Dean. Once upon a time, Paula Dean was a well-liked television chef and cookbook author. She achieved enormous success due to her Southern cooking shows and her charming down-home personality. As it expanded, restaurants, cookware lines, and other businesses were part of her empire. Nevertheless, in 2013, Dean was subjected to a substantial amount of backlash after previous comments that revealed racial attitudes were brought to light. As a result of this discovery, her public favor and corporate ties had a rapid and dramatic drop, which included the termination of contracts with Food Network and other large businesses. Even though Dean has made efforts to create a comeback by performing at smaller venues and working on new projects, her career has never fully recovered the popularity it once carried. The fact that Dean is still virtually missing from mainstream television today illustrates how swiftly the tide can flip in the entertainment and culinary realms in the middle of conflicts that mirror more significant societal issues. A cautionary tale about the significance of public perception and the long-term ramifications of acts and words, particularly for public figures in this day and age of social media and more accountability, her narrative serves as an example of the value of public perception. Jack Gleason. His portrayal of the reviled character, King Joffrey Baratheon, garnered him critical praise and a devoted fan following on HBO's Game of Thrones. Irish actor Jack Gleason enthralled fans with his portrayal of the disdained figure. However, despite his success in the program, Gleason decided to retire from acting after the dramatic leave of his character. He cited a desire to return to academic pursuits and live a more private life as his decision. Gleason decided to pursue education and simplicity by enrolling at Trinity College Dublin rather than giving in to the demands that Hollywood imposes on its actors. Even though he occasionally makes appearances in smaller theater performances, and has contemplated working behind the scenes in television and movies, Gleason maintains his position of being completely hidden from the public eye. His decision brings to light the pressures that young actors frequently encounter and sparks conversations on stardom's allure and potential drawbacks. The path that Gleason took is a compelling illustration of the importance of putting one's well-being ahead of the demands of the industry. It demonstrates that a decision to step away from fame may be satisfying if it is compatible with one's objectives. Kirk Cameron. Kirk Cameron became a teen idol on the popular television show Growing Pains, in which he played the endearing character Mike Seaver. This led to his rise to fame. Cameron's profound religious conversion in his early 20s marked the beginning of his departure from mainstream Hollywood. Cameron was formerly a well-known figure in the entertainment industry. His profoundly ingrained Christian values prompted him to make adjustments in both his professional and personal life, including distancing himself from endeavors that were not in line with his convictions. Cameron changed his concentration to faith-based media, producing and acting in films such as Fireproof and Left Behind, while simultaneously beginning involvement in evangelical work across the United States. Cameron's departure from traditional roles came as a surprise to several fans who remembered his prior career, although Christian groups praised Cameron's departure. On the other hand, his narrative demonstrates how purpose and belief may determine professional choices, thereby forging ties that go beyond traditional stardom. Cameron is still having an effect, albeit in different circles. He questions norms and expectations while valuing a life driven by a mission over typical Hollywood success. He is a person who embodies reinvention and personal authenticity. Amanda Bynes. 
With her endearing personality and impeccable comedic timing, Amanda Bynes became a favorite of Nickelodeon's sketch comedy shows such as All That and The Amanda Show in the late 1990s. She captivated audiences with her comedic timing and charisma. Following her transition into the film industry, she starred in several well-known films, including She's the Man and Hairspray. However, Bynes' career and personal life took a turn for the worse when she was confronted with legal troubles and mental health struggles, which ultimately resulted in her taking a break from the entertainment industry. During this period, public scrutiny frequently overshadowed her past achievements. Throughout the years that followed, Bynes had tried to retake control of her life, pursue education in the design industry, and concentrate on her overall health and wellness. Her narrative highlights the difficulties that child stars frequently encounter as they negotiate the expectations and pressures of fame at a young age. Bynes' career exemplifies the possibilities for growth and reinvention beyond the limitations of Hollywood, reflecting both the necessity of mental health awareness and the perseverance she has displayed throughout her life. Bynes may never return to the acting industry, but she is continuing to forge a new route to achieve a secure and satisfying future that aligns with her goals. Sean Connery the name Sean Connery is practically synonymous with James Bond since he was the first actor to bring the character of the secret agent created by Ian Fleming to life on the big screen. Connery became a worldwide celebrity thanks to his magnetic presence and distinctive Scottish accent. He expanded his acting career to include a variety of roles in films such as The Untouchables and Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Despite receiving numerous offers to continue his career, Connery officially retired from acting in 2006. He wanted to spend his later years away from the spotlight. Over the years that followed, Connery prioritized his leisure activities, including spending time at his estates in the Bahamas and fighting for the independence of Scotland. Although Connery passed away in 2020, his legacy will continue to be remembered for the unforgettable characters he portrayed and his significant impact on the film industry. It was Connery's decision that brought attention to the decision to go on a personal journey that went beyond professional responsibilities. This decision will inspire future generations of actors to appreciate the significance of striking a balance between professional accomplishments and personal fulfillment. Despite time, his work continues to impact the spy genre and beyond. Daniel Day-Lewis it is widely acknowledged that Daniel Day-Lewis is among the most talented performers of his time. He is renowned for his method of acting and his unwavering dedication to the roles he plays. In addition to winning multiple Academy Awards, his performances in films such as My Left Foot, There Will Be Blood, and Lincoln earned him a great deal of praise and recognition. However, in 2017, Day-Lewis announced that he would be retiring from acting. He stated that his final performance would be in the film Phantom Thread. The reasons behind his decision are mainly unknown, but Day-Lewis did indicate that he felt melancholy while performing in his final role. For those who admired his revolutionary work, his retirement from the acting industry marked the end of an era. Day-Lewis's departure sheds light on the right of an artist to end their career on their terms, allowing them to contemplate the emotional toll they have endured and the creative heights they have attained throughout their illustrious career. Even though audiences may never see him on screen again, Day Lewis leaves behind an everlasting stamp on the business, reminding us all of the captivating power of truly focused craft and selective legacy creation. Michael J. Fox In the 1980s, Michael J. Fox became a well-known figure thanks to his roles in the cherished sitcom Family Ties and the iconic Back to the Future film trilogy. Over many years, audiences were captivated by his charisma and acting presence. After receiving a diagnosis of Parkinson's disease in 1991, Fox decided to disclose his condition to the public later in the decade. This marked the beginning of his transition from acting to activism. The Michael J. Fox Foundation for Parkinson's Research is the organization that is leading the charge in the hunt for a cure for Parkinson's disease and in improving the lives of those affected by it. Although he has stepped back from main roles, 
Fox has continued to make guest appearances on shows such as The Good Wife and Curb Your Enthusiasm. In recent years, he has further scaled back his career, emphasizing health and advocacy, while also enjoying writing and inspiring millions of people with his tenacity and optimism. The narrative that Fox presents is one of defiance against hardship, demonstrating commitment not only to the entertainment industry, but also to substantial achievements in the field of illness research. His story exemplifies the importance of bravery in the face of life's unexpected challenges by promoting the acceptance of change and the pursuit of purposeful undertakings beyond a single job. T.J. Miller. T.J. Miller is a dynamic stand-up comedian recognized for his distinctive voice and quick wit. He gained notoriety in the comedy circles due to his rise to prominence. A large amount of praise was bestowed upon him for his performance as the bombastic Ehrlich Bachmann in the HBO series Silicon Valley, which was the catalyst for his breakout. On the other hand, Miller's once promising trajectory was sidetracked by incidents that occurred off screen, including claims of sexual misconduct and legal issues. Because of his brilliance, public and professional support began to erode, ultimately resulting in his exit from the program and a decrease in the number of mainstream work offers he received. The arc of Miller's career exemplifies how one's personal behavior and the nature of the industry may significantly impact one's professional life with ramifications that go beyond talent or promise. Miller is currently carrying on with his stand-up comedy performances and participating in projects less closely associated with the mainstream of Hollywood to revive a career that was once flourishing. Even though he has made mistakes in the past, his tale serves as a powerful reminder of the responsibility that public figures hold, the significance of aligning professional behavior with personal principles, and being open to development and accountability. Meg Ryan One time, Meg Ryan was regarded as the sweetheart of the United States of America. She was able to captivate audiences with her parts in romantic comedies such as When Harry Met Sally, Sleepless in Seattle, and You've Got Mail. Ryan was a mainstay in the film industry during the 1990s, and she was known for her attractive portrayals and sparkling on-screen performances. However, by the early 2000s, Ryan had taken a break from acting. She had expressed a desire to experience life outside of the unrelenting limelight that Hollywood provides, and she was also interested in focusing on personal development and parenthood. Ryan's career never returned to its old prominence, showing a conscious choice to prioritize personal fulfillment and balance. She adopted children and devoted her creative energy toward directing, making her debut with the film Ithaca. Although she occasionally appears in independent projects, Ryan's career has never recovered to its past prominence. Her departure from the mainstream film industry illustrates the pressures that actresses are subjected to the ever-changing nature of popularity, and the need for personal change. Ryan is a model of living a genuine life because she is willing to accept change. She demonstrates that contributions made behind the scenes may provide just as much satisfaction and creative depth as roles performed on television. Kat Dennings Kat Dennings first attracted attention to her intelligent and funny performances in films such as Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist and Thor. Subsequently, she achieved fame in television as the star of the comedy Two Broke Girls, which aired for several seasons. Following the show's conclusion, Dennings decided to step away from high-profile roles and instead pursue smaller, more intimate projects that align with her interests. One of these projects is her role in the streaming series Dollface. Denning's move towards selective appearances demonstrates the desire to concentrate on character depth and quality storytelling, and it reflects a conscious decision to pursue projects that resonate personally rather than solely adhering to the expectations of the mainstream. Denning's continues to establish a varied portfolio by taking advantage of opportunities across various media channels. This allows her creativity to bloom outside of the conventional framework that Hollywood provides an environment for this. In today's entertainment scene, when alternative platforms and projects allow sufficient opportunity for performers to redefine success and design distinct career routes, her choices reflect the more remarkable transformations that have taken place in the entertainment industry. 
Randy Quaid. With his off-screen antics, Randy Quaid was once a celebrated character actor known for parts in films such as Independence Day and National Lampoon's Vacation, has become even more notorious than he was before in his acting career. Amid a slew of legal issues and odd public pronouncements, including allegations of being persecuted by a Hollywood star whacker conspiracy, his career experienced a steep decline. These disputes led Quaid and his wife to seek asylum in Canada for a time, ending in Quaid's self-imposed exile from Hollywood and the United States. Because of the peculiar and turbulent aspects of Quaid's personal life, his enormous collection of work has been eclipsed, alienating both his contemporaries in the industry and audiences across the globe. His story exemplifies the fine line that exists between eccentricity and estrangement in the entertainment industry, which is a place where personal problems can tragically overshadow professional accomplishments. In the present day, Quaid is virtually missing from the media, indicating a career trajectory characterized by outstanding talent and an increasingly turbulent personal saga. His tale demonstrates the importance of consistency and accountability in continuing a viable career in Hollywood, particularly when one is confronted with significant personal obstacles ahead of them. Bridget Fonda Bridget Fonda, a member of the illustrious Fonda acting dynasty, rose to prominence in the 1990s as a result of her outstanding performances in films such as Singles, Point of No Return, and Jackie Brown. Her poise and talent made her a key force in the film industry for several years. However, in 2002, Fonda departed from the acting industry after being involved in a severe vehicle accident and subsequently married the composer Danny Elfman. To devote her time and energy to her family and personal life, Fonda chose to live a life of isolation and move entirely out of the public eye. In light of her departure, it is clear that she made a deliberate choice to put her health and the well-being of her family ahead of the complications of Hollywood celebrity, and she chose to live her life away from the scrutiny of the public. The lessons that can be learned from her narrative include the importance of taking a step back when necessary and recognizing personal choices over public expectations. Although Bridget Fonda may never return to the acting industry, her legacy will live on thanks to the extraordinary body of work she has produced and the impression she has made on audiences. She will continue to be a revered character whose influence extends beyond her time in film. Bill Cosby Bill Cosby was formerly considered one of the most beloved television celebrities in the United States. He is most known for his successful television show, The Cosby Show, which was instrumental in redefining how African-American families were portrayed on television. His friendliness and influence extended to various mediums, from comedic writing to literary works. Cosby's career and reputation, on the other hand, were irreparably harmed as a result of the numerous allegations of sexual assault that led to criminal convictions and a jail sentence. The conviction of this man reflected a stunning fall from grace, highlighting the enormous influence of the hashtag MeToo movement and the altering views of society toward holding influential individuals accountable for misbehavior. Cosby continues to avoid the public eye, even though he has made significant contributions to education and media. His legacy is now irrevocably linked to the scandals against him. An important cultural turning point in entertainment history is illustrated by the narrative, which emphasizes the significance of individual acts and the potential consequences that may result from them. While shifting social landscapes, Bill Cosby's story exemplifies a dramatic turn from a revered icon to a cautionary tale. With this metamorphosis, the story highlights ongoing questions about justice and rehabilitation. Rick Moranis Rick Moranis became a well-liked figure in the 1980s thanks to his memorable comedic roles in films such as Ghostbusters, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, and The Little Shop of Horrors. Moranis was known for his endearing and frequently eccentric characters, and he was able to piece together a film legacy that resonated with audiences all over the world. However, after the untimely passing of his wife in the 1990s, Moranis decided to retire from acting to devote his attention to the upbringing of his two children. The decision to prioritize family over professional endeavors 
was a notable departure from the spotlight, distinguished by this decision. Moranis has been mainly absent from the Hollywood scene since then. Nonetheless, his fans are excited about his impending involvements in projects such as the Honey, I Shrunk the Kids reboot and his infrequent appearances in the industry. His decision exemplifies a readiness to prioritize personal experiences over professional ambitions without sacrificing his enthusiasm for creative endeavors, which reflects the profound nature of his dedication to his family. The long legacy of Rick Moranis strikes a balance between humor and humanity, serving as a reminder that success may transcend traditional marks of recognition and that it can be rooted in love and commitment to those things that matter the most. Monique. Monique, well known for her explosive stand-up comedy and her performance in Precious, which won her an award, has had a successful career in film and television. Her arrival changed how things were done in the comedy scene and introduced fresh points of view, resulting in her gaining a devoted following. Despite these accomplishments, Monique's career took a turn for the worse due to publicized disagreements with influential players in the entertainment industry. These disagreements included allegations of being blacklisted and wage inequalities. Her vehement stance against what she considered to be injustices garnered a lot of attention, establishing her as a lightning rod for discussion and a staunch advocate for industry openness. Even though these disagreements have reduced the opportunities available to her in major productions, Monique continues to work, frequently in the context of smaller scale endeavors or films that are produced independently. Her narrative highlights the complicated dynamics in the entertainment industry, illuminating the difficulties of pursuing established industry channels while remaining steadfast in one's values. In addition to highlighting the significance of advocacy in navigating a changing professional landscape in which speaking up carries both dangers and rewards, Monique's story inspires continuous dialogue on fairness and inclusion within the Hollywood industry. Karen Parsons Karen Parsons became well known for her role as Hilary Banks, a ditzy and endearing character on the legendary television show The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. The hilarious antics that her character engaged in contributed to the success of the series, which in turn made Parsons a recognized face in households all over the world. After the show's conclusion, Parsons decided to retire from acting and instead focus her creative efforts on writing and producing. She established the Sweet Blackberry Foundation to disseminate hitherto unknown tales of African-American heroes through captivating content for children combining the elements of education and storytelling. Parsons' drive to tell stories that have a significant impact continues to reverberate beyond the realm of television screens despite her on-screen appearances decreasing. Her transition from acting to teaching demonstrates her dedication to leaving a legacy by emphasizing the importance of utilizing her platform to raise awareness and motivate future generations. Karen Parsons' journey exemplifies a balanced combination of artistic expression and meaningful cultural contribution. She has prioritized projects that have lasting value over merely being in the spotlight, serving as an example of the wider range of opportunities available to people working in the entertainment industry. Charlie Sheen During his time on Two and a Half Men, Charlie Sheen became famous for his dramatic performances and off-screen antics. He was once the highest paid television actor for his role in the show. The plunge of Sheen into public scandal, spurred by erratic behavior and personal issues, overshadowed his work even though he had achieved success in his career. Because he struggled with addiction and his high profile departure from the popular series, his visibility in the Hollywood industry took a significant turn for the better. Despite Sheen's efforts to revitalize his career, which included participating in reality television and making guest appearances, his reputation and possibilities have worsened. This reflects the broader ramifications associated with celebrity acts constantly under observation. On the other hand, the story of Sheen continues to be a complicated tapestry of skill, difficulties, and resiliency, with both cautionary and redemptive parts. Even though Sheen is less visible in popular media these days, 
he is still taking steps toward rehabilitation and introspection. His narrative highlights the persistent nature of fame's unstable character, with problems continually intermingled with chances for transformation. It also simultaneously demonstrates the potential power and the hazards of a career in the entertainment industry. Renee Zellweger. As a result of her parts in films such as Jerry Maguire, Bridget Jones' Diary, and Chicago, Renee Zellweger rose to notoriety in the late 1990s and early 2000s. These films demonstrated her versatility as an actress, as she was able to perform both humorous and tragic roles. However, Zellweger decided to take a break from the entertainment industry to concentrate on her own personal development after a string of jobs that were less successful than others and an increase in the amount of scrutiny placed on her appearance. During her absence, she focused on reinvigorating herself, pursuing her intellectual interests, and engaging in self-reflection. Zellweger made a victorious return to the cinema, winning significant critical acclaim and many prizes for her portrayal of Judy Garland in the film Judy. Her journey embodies the cycle of celebrity, highlighting the introspective pauses that can reshape both personal and professional trajectories. Audiences are moved by Zellweger's tenacity and capacity to accept change, which conveys that comebacks are feasible and that reinvention is still an essential component of artistic achievement. Her story demonstrates that vulnerability can be a strength, proving that transformation is always within grasp when combined with determination and authenticity. James Franco James Franco, who was formerly praised for his versatility in films such as 127 Hours, Milk, and The Disaster Artist, has established a career that is dynamic and versatile as an actor, director, and producer. However, his career had losses due to charges of inappropriate behavior, which resulted in fewer opportunities and greater scrutiny from the public. As a reflection of the more significant industry coming to terms with power dynamics and accountability, Franco's reputation was tarnished even though he possessed a lot of talent. The fact that his presence within big Hollywood productions has decreased demonstrates the far-reaching impact that public controversies have. While specific projects continue to move forward, his profile has reduced. The case of Franco highlights the increasing amount of talk about ethical conduct that is taking place inside the entertainment industry. It begins an ongoing dialogue about justice, redemption, and professional ethics. In his tale, he contemplates the consequences of personal acts compared to an unwavering desire for creativity, which adds complexity to the celebration of art and accomplishment. Franco's path presents an opportunity to contemplate broader cultural shifts in views toward consent and respect which resonate with broader industry revolutions toward diversity and reform. Katherine Heigl Katherine Heigl rose to prominence due to her performance as Dr. Izzy Stevens on the long-running television series Grey's Anatomy, for which she received great critical praise and honors. Her career progressed due to her switch to film roles in romantic comedies, even though she faced rising reputational issues due to reported on-set behavior. Differences of opinion with co-workers and statements made in public occasionally led to the view that they were challenging to collaborate with, contributing to declining prospects in mainstream settings. Heigl has embarked on personal introspection and professional reinvention initiatives over the past few years. She has also been exploring positions in smaller projects and generating content under her direction. The tale she tells highlights the significance of resiliency, as well as how self-awareness can be a catalyst for change and growth. Heigl's journey continues as an example of evolving toward healthy professional experiences while redefining success on personal terms. She demonstrates that the trajectory of an artist is not simply determined by the tales woven by the media through the process of reinvention. Heigl exemplifies the importance of resiliency and adaptation to successfully navigate the inevitable changes that come with a Hollywood career. If you've watched the video till here, that means you've enjoyed the video. Subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the notifications bell icon 